Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Top Years World, where it's not just my world, but it's your world, and for the most part, it's God's world, so stay blessed and don't be stressed if you're new here. Hello, my name is Althea, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out, and if you're not new here, I appreciate all the support, keep watching my videos, and keep supporting with the good vibes. So, today, <laughs> guys, um, this video I'm gonna hold on to, but until I get more of the melons, but... For now, we're harvesting my very first watermelon that is ripe. So if you've been watching my last video, you guys know what happened to the last, the last watermelon. It was young, but it was still very sweet. So go watch that video. What, what's taking us so long? So I'm going to show you guys the watermelon. So just an FYI, the way that you know that your watermelon is ready, let me go out over here so I'm not in the beaming sun the way you know that your watermelon is ready is one the tendril two there's a lot i'm only going to share a few one is the tendril dries up two um you hit it and it's it should be hollow three there should be a yellowish spot on the underside and that's all that i know so we're going to check this out Okay, so this is the watermelon. Uh, it rained last night. It poured last night. The wind, like, no joke. This is the watermelon. That's what it looks like. This is the moon and stars. Y'all hear that? And this is the tendril. It is completely dried up. Completely right up uh -huh. to the tip so I moved this a couple times so it doesn't really and I want to move it it doesn't really have a spot on the bottom because I've been moving it rotating it so this one I'm going to pick I still have another one here because the two I had here that I thought was growing it died so I'm waiting for that one. That tendril is not ready because it's full green. And then I have another one. Guys, I'm under the weather if you can't hear right now. <clears throat> and I have another one. The other day I said I had one that was growing. This is it. And that tendril is completely green. So I'm going to wait <laughs> for this one if I have time. But for today... I'm going to pick this one. So, Demir, my oldest son, he said he wanted to harvest it. He said his first watermelon. He's usually not out here, but he said he wanted to do it. Right, Papa? Mm -hmm. So here, this is where you're going to cut. See? So let me just let you know. Yep. The, way, the way you know a watermelon is ready is that the tendril is dried up. So as much as it did rain a lot last night um this watermelon is ready because before when it was sunny out this was dry but you can also tell that it's completely dried out so um cut it right here papa buddy so the the pruners are closed so you're gonna open the pruners there you go so you're gonna cut right here ready yes cut it there you go. So now pick up the watermelon. <laughs> it's as big as him. <laughs> it is big. So is it heavy? It's, it's not pretty. Big. Pretty. It's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, for a little small. What is that? We look about with Talawa. <laughs> yeah. This this is this is a hefty watermelon. That Thank you, nice. my guy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, guys, that's it. We got our first watermelon, and I'm excited. And there's a lot more. Than it's officially season. our first watermelon. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait till the other one is ready. So this has been this has been dry for about a week, but I was skeptical because it was so small. Cause the Gabriel, stop it, Papa. You'll get the next one. Okay, let him hold on to it. 
Gabriel is mad because he always harvests everything in the garden and for the first time his brother did this one so he's a little upset but whatever sharing is caring so yeah this one was on the vine with the dried tendrical for about, about about a week so I let it sit there but I didn't want the rainwater to dilute I know that sounds weird the flavor of this watermelon so that is why I clipped it because it rained a lot last night and I didn't want like I just said for it to dilute the flavor so um, I came out here and we harvested it but we still have another one right over there that um we're gonna harvest whenever the tentacle is ready so y'all gonna see that video probably in the next maybe a few weeks or so but this is our first one so i might do a tasting um for the first one but i do want to wait until we get a few more to actually do an actual video okay guys so today is what date uh, today is sunday. sunday september 10th 2023 and this is our first official watermelon moon and stars all right guys hey guys <laughs> so today is september 17th so it's been about i want to say it's been about a few days that i haven't been posting but um it's okay so i'm gonna attach the vlog from the watermelon to this one because pretty much Alex and I are gonna cut it and you guys are gonna see it so today is Sunday I'm sorry for the noise Alex has a key fob in his pocket and he's working and I'm in the car so <laughs> that is why y'all hear that beep 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 yeah so <clears throat> yeah so last night we went out we had dinner because that's something that we do every single month. We go out and spend at least one time. We go out, we eat, we have fun, we talk, we chill, we laugh. Only because in the months, we don't have a chance always to, you know, unwind. We have the kids, so it's a lot of, hey, I gotta go do this, hey, I gotta go do that, hey, did you do this? It's a lot of busy work, we're busy parents. So we usually try to find time one time a week. Some before it was twice, but we had to um mm -hmm. we had to um we had to budget a little tighter, a little tighter. So now we only do it once per month, which is fine. So we went to Papados and we had a good meal. We had a lot of laughs. We had a good drink. If you guys are in the area of Papados, go visit there. It's pretty nice. You know, save your little coin guys fellas if y'all want to bring out your wife on a date it's pretty nice seafood is good it's fresh um customer service that we've had at our papados is pretty good see me see, see my work <laughs> see my life so um hopefully he's done so um yeah guys so when we get home we are going to um cut up with a watermelon so you guys can see it and hopefully Alex will taste it. He'll tell you his um his his review of what he, he feels about it, how how he likes it. Oh, that's the um so yeah, that's the owner of the home. So we've been working, Alex and I have been working, um, because we got things to do, we got goals to meet, so we've been working, we've, we've been busy, and we're learning this good old entrepreneurship and we're embracing it by the horn. So we'll see you guys when we get home, All right? Bye. Go get that smoothie. See the man shoes. <laughs> what are you gonna get? <coughs> no, let myself food in here. Let myself. The money smells. Mm. The money smells smooth. You smell like bleach, mop. They only sell like these little stuff here. Yeah, it smells very clean and smoothie-ish in here. I got the forever young. Mixed greens, akia berry, goji berry, coconut water, bananas, and I got the ginger instead of the protein. You don't like it? Mine tastes 
good. Mine tastes like grass. Yours tastes like smoothie, peanut and strawberry. We're going home. Home. So <clears throat> I'm saving some seeds. So see this one on your saw. And there's one one here. I'm saving the seeds. It's gonna grow way higher, way bigger. But you see that? I'm still getting okra seeds. Bigger. So we're home, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so I'm in the back. It's been raining a great deal <clears throat> out here. Oh wow. Okay. So this watermelon still not ready yet. I think the last time I had a video, I put a the last video. <clears throat> well, the beginning of the video. I show you guys the watermelon and it's been about I think it's been about a week this is what it looks like see that's the one that was over there that was small <clears throat> and this one is the more mature one but as you can see it not ready yet so I'm gonna wait for that one and that one. My ginger is doing good. Oh wow. Huh. So my melon is gone. It's all right. I didn't think it was gonna make it anyway. All right, so we're home. Alex is gonna be right there. Say hi, wave hi. We ain't got a clue, that's it. Huh? Nobody yeah, they can hear me. So as I said, we're home. This is the watermelon. I have a cutting board here. You guys can see the cutting board. You see it. Y'all see it. So we're gonna cut it. Have a knife. I'm in the back of Alex's truck. Yes, I am. Um, and I'm gonna cut it. <clears throat> see if I get a better angle. We're outside, so <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna cut it. Baby, not gonna come. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Look, juice. Go on, you some juice. Hurry up. Out. All right. Uh, let me pray first. <laughs> oh, look, this is how it looks. Oh, it looks good. Find them seeds. Look at the seeds. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side. And we're gonna cut this one. And then Alice is gonna judge it. I'm cut this, cut this one to the side also. Cut it like long. Want me to cut it long? Way? That's good. Cut it this way. See that big here? Got a lot of seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Don't show where the seed. Well, there's enough for me to plant again, so. Look, why are we right? in it here. How it is. Melanie. Melanie. Let me see, I might eat the whole thing. A lot of seeds. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna try it. There are a lot of seeds, and these seeds are they're big. Like they're they're, they're very big. <clears throat> I'm gonna take some out. Because I'm gonna plant these next year. Like I said, it didn't get as big as the package, the, the seed packet said. False advertisement. But at least it got some sort of some melon. It's good. I feel like it's not as sweet as the one we got when it was younger. Remember when we got the one that was young and I cut it, it was way sweeter than this one. So, it wasn't all bad. You know what I was looking into? The seeds, the, the, the watermelon that have seeds versus the ones that don't have seeds. I was looking into why <clears throat> they don't have seeds to see. I know it's not a non-G, it's not a non, it's not a GMO product. Yeah, it's not as sweet. But it's still good. Still juicy. See the water? Still juicy. Yeah, dessert I find right them day while you think say you think say it mad sweet. First get quench. Yeah. I'm probably gonna give the other one to my mom. That's in my backyard. And then everybody else. But yeah, I was saying that the watermelon that don't have seeds, you know it's pretty much like um, what was I reading up again? I was reading something and it was saying that basically what it's they, fake. it's not fake. It's a, it's a, it's a hybrid. So basically like they, they take one, one watermelon, figure out why it didn't, um, get seeds. And most of the, what I read, it says that the seeds are sterile, so it can't reproduce. So the seeds are, they're more small and thin. So they're not mature. So what they do is they put a watermelon plant that is um, that is a that is like a male, and they surround it with females. So basically, that plant don't have male and female plants. It only has one sex. So when you surround it with a pollinator, the chances of it getting pollinated. I guarantee but they don't they they get sterile seeds that's that's what I kind of understand or the chromosome so they basically put a high chromosome watermelon around the normal chromosome watermelons and it just um, it doesn't reproduce which I don't think is good because that means you're trying to stop the reproduction of of our food. Try to make shit sure fake. Yeah, okay. cloning, pretty much. That's why you have to be careful. But I don't mind seedless. I think if you're gonna get seedless, sometimes seedless is good for like, if you have like, you know, parties, you want it to look a certain way, you don't want to be eating a bunch of seeds. Then yeah, but real watermelon would I buy because it has the same nutritional value but I didn't like it. it's it's bad it's just that um it just don't have seeds so the seeds are kind of like they're white they're like this and they're see-through they can't really you can't see through them more like this seed right here this one this this powerful this fully mature can't do this, this on camera. This, this, I'm, I, I, Put you on camera. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, in order for our food to reproduce and for us to have life 
as human beings, I feel like you're trying to hybrid an item just so that it could be a convenience to you. And it, it don't make sense. I mean, in a way. Maybe one or two, but when you have like, like for instance, how you, if you go to the store and you want to just break a watermelon, it ain't going to be this easy to break. Like, but like I said, it's not to say like, oh, all our food is going to be, you know, in a lab. No, it's just sometimes it's 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 kind of compromised in a way. It's it's handled in a way where it's convenience for us um, Americans. So that's about it. We opened the watermelon. I gave you guys the watermelon. I tasted it. It's not as red as you know your average watermelon but it is good like if you was to blend this up or have a hot day and you just need some hydration trust me i'd rather this than water because water doesn't have as much minerals as a watermelon so that's about it you telling me babe what 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 i'm done I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. I'm gonna give some to your mom and the kids. I, I can't eat. I mean, I could eat this whole watermelon, but I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> so, guys, um, that's about it. That's that's the video. Get you guys some watermelon. It's good for you. It's good for your gut. It has fiber vitamins the whole bit it's good for you okay if you if you, you put so I, what i've seen this thing on tiktok you put lime on it do whatever you want to do okay just make sure you save your seeds what i'm about to do i'm about to save all my seeds. and that was listen that was a that was a what a quarter of a watermelon. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five seeds, twenty-six seeds, and not not counting the ones that you know actually grow. Twenty-six seeds. 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 Twenty-six don't forget to pray, be patient, persevere, and you will surely progress. Don't forget to be kind. And don't forget not to be perfect to show the progress. All right, guys. Till next time. Love y'all. Bye. Huh. See, when you mind your business, eat watermelon and mind your business, guys. Mm -hmm. Eat watermelon and mind your business. Mm -hmm. These seeds are beautiful. I'm hungry. You know, so I did this before. I did this before. I took a watermelon and I ate the whole half because I was I was hungry. And I ate it. And about an hour later, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Has this ever happened to you guys? I was on the twins, okay? I know that's TMI, but I was, I was on the toilet. I was like, why? <laughs> Eat watermelon, I mind your business.
Watch the car and then we'll go. <laughs> Listen, I be biting my own business. I don't bother nobody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 